will start at their 20 led onto the field by Austin Davis who makes his fifth NFL start with a very athletic Seattle front that throws a little bit more open on second and five Richard Sherman comes up to make the tackle Seahawks. Wilson looking end zone. He throws. And it's through the back of the end zone intended for Curse. 24-yard attempt from the left hash. Steven Hauska's kick is good. This time Cunningham takes it out from five yards deep. And he Cunningham down the sideline. Stays in bounds. He's across midfield, still going. Finally brought down inside the 35 yard line. Third down and two. Britt comes in motion. Davis on third down. And the Rams pick up the first. New set of downs for the Rams. This is Tavon Austin who takes the handoff. And Austin. Works his way down to the nine-yard line. Davis on first and goal. Hands it off to Trey Mason. And he is in for his first NFL touchdown. Gonna get a lot of man coverage when you play the Seahawks. And you get everybody spread out a little bit. And then a little handoff inside to Trey Mason. Good blocking up front. Earl Thomas a little bit late getting down there to fill. Great one-on-one -on -one blocking up front. Especially on me, Bam, they do a nice job of turning their shoulders. Huge hole right up the middle. We're down in 13 following the penalty for 12 men of the huddle. Wilson on third and long. With time, he throws, and it is deflected as Rodney McLeod got a hand on it. Mason with the Rams touchdown. Off the fake to Mason. Davis steps up and throws, and the catch is made for a first down out at the 40-yard line. Cunningham in the backfield. Rams must get to midfield for a first down. Davis to the outside, and there is a flag. Pass interference. Defense number 27. By rule, the ball is placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic. First down. Rams gain 16 yards. On the penalty, and now the handoff to Mason, who found a hole. Trey Mason down the sideline, looked to cut it inside, and he is tackled at the 11-yard line. Third and three from the five. Jared Cook in motion. Good matchup in the red zone. Davis rolling right, shovel pass to Benny Cunningham, and Cunningham picks up a first down and a touchdown. Great call by Brian Schottenheimer. Yeah, all the way to the motion, too, Tony, just to get your eyes focused on Jared Cook. Now, big athletic tight end. Here he comes in motion. Kind of get locked on to him. All right, all right, what is he going to do? Go to the flat real quick? No, he's going to come inside and seal it. <laughs> he sealed it all right. <laughs> good finish by Benny Cunningham. Looked like we had a good tackle by Camp Chancellor right there to hold him out. And then Michael Bennett coming in from behind. <laughs> On second and ten, Curse. Curse breaks free from two tackles and picks up a Seahawks first down. Empty backfield. There's Lynch. Third down and five. Wilson throws to his left. It's Baldwin who picks up a first down into Rams territory. 
Now Christian Michael in the backfield. Making his first appearance this season. Off the fake to Michael. The catch is made by Turbin. The Seahawks on offense making their season debut. Michael Norwood and the tight end was Sean Allen, who was activated from the practice squad just yesterday. First and 10 from the 38. Off the fake to Lynch. Wilson in trouble. Wrapped up. And for the Rams, sack number two on the season. Tenth play of the drive for the Seahawks. It's third down. At 14, they must get to the 28. Pressure on Wilson. Down he goes. Go. Ryan punting it away. Austin back deep. And the punt take on the far side by Stedman Bailey. Bailey down the sideline, and he will take it all the way. The Seahawks were faked out by Austin. He set up for the return on the left side. The kick went to the right, and it's Bailey who takes it back. 86 yards for a Rams touchdown. That looks like something you see on the internet, Darrell, with all these trick plays. Uh, no, this is something that Jeff Fisher talked to us about, Tony. He's got John Ryan. Now, when he's out here midfield, he is so consistent with that rugby-style kick. It's almost always to the right, the defensive right. This kick is always going to go down here. Now, watch to the other side. They're going to make it look like the ball has drifted to the right. Look at the Seahawks chasing it. And the ball lands up top here on the 10-yard line. <laughs> Even faked our cameraman out. That is great preparation by the special teams of the Rams. John Fossil getting his guys to understand that. And when you find something that is so locked on and so perfect that you think you can take an advantage of it and then you go out and execute it. Pete Carroll still trying to figure out what happened to his guys on that one. You know, Jeff Fisher holding his breath the way that that first half ended against San Francisco last Monday night with everything that happened. He's, he's hoping he does not seeing deja vu right now. That's right, the 80-yard touchdown pass from Kaepernick to Brandon Roy. Wilson sacked three times on the last two Seahawks possessions, and the catch is made in Rams territory by Cooper Helfin. Wilson on second down. He fires up the middle, and the catch is made by Helfin. Seahawks still with all three timeouts from the Rams 21. Wilson, soft touch, it's Turbin. Turbin down to the St. Louis 12 yard line. Second down and one. From the St. Louis 12, split backs, Lynch and Turbin. Baldwin in the slot, three receivers set. Off the fake to Turbin, Wilson has it. And he picks up the first down, out of bounds at the seven. Now second and goal. Lynch wrapped up and forced back. So this will be a 35-yard attempt. Steven Hauska hit from 24 earlier. John Ryan will place it down at the left hash. Hauska from 35. The kick is straight through. First, second half possession for St. Louis. Austin Davis perfect in the first half, completing all nine pass attempts. Trey Mason in the backfield takes the handoff from Davis. And is out to the 23-yard line. Richard Sherman, the tackle. Third down and five. From the 26. And that pass incomplete. First incompletion thrown by Davis. On second and five, it's Lynch. E.J. Gaines unable to bring him down. And Lynch picks up a first. They set it down from the 30 off the fake. It's Wilson. He faked the handoff to Lynch, and Wilson slides for another Seattle first down. Seahawks on the move from the 42-yard line, trailing by 15. Off the fake, Wilson escapes the pressure, and he throws, and it's Baldwin who makes the catch and then realizes he was not touched, gained some extra yardage close to a first down. Everything that's happened, the, the big challenge is these third and longs, and we've got another one right here at third and 17 for Seattle. Seahawks must get to the 38. Wilson steps up and throws, and it's Baldwin who picks up a first down on third and 17. Now a 
That's Lynch. And Marshawn Lynch is close to another Seahawks first down. Matched up with Richardson. Third down and three. Wilson on the keeper. No one fouled him. Touchdown, Russell Wilson. You know, I, I just, I don't really like this call. There's nobody there. There's nobody backing up Alec Ogletree. So he stumbles at the start, and they were going to put him in a position to not spy. They called him a stalker. He goes down inside. If that's your job, if you are the person responsible for Russell Wilson as the stalker, if that's one of the defenses that they talk to us about, because you have nobody behind you. There was not a single St. Louis player behind Alec Ogletree. How can you look inside? Second down and four. Off the fake, Davis rolling right. And this is Corey Harkey, who picks up a Rams first down, first and ten. From the 36. Davis over the middle again. It's Jared Cook. Turn for a score by Stedman Bailey. Davis on third down and 12. It's Cunningham. And Benny Cunningham. Looks to be just short. He's about a yard shy as Earl Thomas made the tackle. Lynch and Turbin in the backfield. Good shot. Wilson rolling right on second and three. Correcting traffic and now takes off. Picks up a first down. He slides. Third down and nine. Wilson moving to his left. Can't find anyone. He takes off. Picks up a first down and more. Russell Wilson inside the 30, finally tackled by Janoris Jenkins at the Rams 25-yard line as Wilson runs for 52. That looked like a good block to me. Now on first and 14, Wilson throws to the end zone. It's a touchdown. Cooper Helfit makes the catch, stayed in bounds. And the Seahawks capitalized. They pull to it in two. Russell Wilson getting everybody back together. Going to go for two points here. What a tremendous job with his feet. Cooper helping. I mean, he, his right foot is right on that line. That is outstanding work. Here's Wilson to the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Curse. This offense has to get points right here. Longest completion for Davis today, just 14 yards. Off the play fake on first down. Brian Quick. The approach nine minutes remaining. Rams lead by two. From the 39 on first down, Davis under pressure, moves to his left, now throws. And the catch is made for another first down. So the Rams now facing third down and six. Rams must get to the 38 for a first down. And it's Chris Gibbons who makes the catch. Huge catch by Gibbons, longest play of the day for the Rams on offense, 30 yards. And now is Mason. Two tight ends set. Second and goal. Davis throws and the catch is made. Ball comes loose. The question is that Kendricks Break the plane and throw the touchdown. So he broke the plane, which means touchdown. Ball came loose a second later. Rams have extended their lead. Remember, all it has to do is the nose breaks the front of that plane. There it is, right there. Touchdown. Back to back drives of 82 and 91 yards, both resulting in touchdowns. But they need two scores. Wilson under pressure, chased by Hayes. He throws, and the catch is made by Lynch. Seahawks were down by two, went for two earlier this quarter, could not convert. Wilson on first down, he throws, and the catch is made in Rams territory by Doug Baldwin. There he goes, bringing a little pressure, it looks like. And the slant is caught by Curse. Jermaine Curse inside the 10. Second and go from the Rams nine. 322 remaining. Seahawks trail by nine. Wilson throws. Baldwin touchdown. Go, go, go. 
Russell Wilson is just taking total control of this game. Doug Baldwin right here. Cooper Helfick goes down the field. Marshawn Lynch into the flat. Russell Wilson finds the guy in between. Seattle with one timeout remaining. Off the fake, Davis rolling right. Man found that he wanted to spin it out. Shovel pass is caught. And take it up to the 18 yard line. Third down and three. 2.59 remaining. Seahawks out of timeouts. Davis throws. Sherman on the coverage. No flags. Austin, the intended receiver. And how big is field position on the last Seattle kickoff? Oh, no fake. Hucker with the throw. It's a first down. We've seen the Rams do this so many times previously. Hucker, the punter, is now four for four in his career. The Rams do it again on special teams. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I tell you what, Jeff Fisher, John Fossil, what a game. Come in, distract right here. But then look at that. You flood the, the zone. There's nobody out there. That is tremendous. Okay, we've seen the preparation to create an opportunity with the Stedman Bailey punt return. Now, this one is just plain guts. We've got it up, but you've got to have the courage to call it because if you don't execute that one, you just lost the game. A lot of guts. A lot of guts to call it. Last time out doesn't cost the Rams much because they ran the play clock all the way down to one second. And now the ball comes loose at the end of the play, but Corey Harkey initially fell on it, then it bounced away. Seahawks say they have it. The Rams picked up a first down. Would have been able to ice the game, but then the ball came loose. The officials come out with it. Rams. There's Mason. Ball came loose, and then the ball slumbered forward. So with the recovery by that seen that fumbled the ball, the ball will come back to right. the spot of the fumble. So it is ruled a Rams recovery. And now they will be able to run out the clock. Seahawks out of timeouts. Now Pete Carroll running down the field. He's run out onto the field. Rams come out to celebrate. Carroll wants an explanation. He wants to know why it didn't go to review inside of two minutes. So the Rams hang on, defeat the Seahawks 28-26, second straight loss for Seattle. Crazy ending here in St. Louis.